Welcome to this presentation on Anatomy, Physiology, and Pathology Review using MRI Brain. Brought to you by the Phillips Learning Center. The full e-learning course on Anatomy, Physiology, and Pathology Review using MRI Brain can be found at the OnlineLearningCenter.com under the Anatomy and Physiology section of the course catalog. The tutorial titled, Anatomy, Physiology and Pathology Review Using MRI Brain, is designed to give the healthcare professional an overview of the anatomy and physiology of the brain, as well as the most common pathological conditions affecting the brain. The module will review the major structures on an MR image and discuss standard MR protocols for the brain. The course will conclude with a review of the main vessels of the head and neck labeled MR angiography images, and a review of common cerebrovascular anomalies. The central nervous system, CNS, is divided into six major parts. The spinal cord, the medulla oblongata, the cerebellum and the pons, the midbrain, the diencephalon, and the cerebral hemispheres. This tutorial will review the main structures in the brain and their functions. The module does an extensive review of normal anatomy seen on MRI, demonstrating T2-weighted and T1-weighted axial and sagittal images and high-resolution T2-weighted coronal images. This course also reviews the cranial bones, facial bones, inner ear, orbits, and sinuses. The excellent contrast in spatial resolution of MRI has made it a modality of choice for evaluating tumors, ischemic changes, inflammatory processes, and many other conditions in the brain. The course will briefly discuss some of the scan techniques that are being utilized for standard brain imaging. The most common pathological conditions affecting the brain will be discussed, including the pituitary adenomas, acoustic neuroma, meningioma, neoplasms, multiple sclerosis, infection, and hemorrhage, to name a few. A variety of case studies will be shown, demonstrating the day-to-day -day pulse sequences performed for a variety of common pathologies, typically seen in the MRI suite. The course continues with a review of vascular anatomy and pathology, including aneurysms, vascular malformations, and stenosis. Stroke and cerebrovascular disease will be covered, including advanced imaging methods such as diffusion-weighted imaging and perfusion-weighted imaging. This course concludes with a review of MR functional brain imaging. This tutorial is one of a series by Barbara Lebron. Other modules in the MR series include Anatomy, Physiology and Pathology using MRI Spine, Anatomy, Physiology and Pathology using MRI Body, and Anatomy, Physiology, and Pathology using MRI, MR Angiography. For those interested in computed tomography, the following courses can be found under the Anatomy and Physiology section of the course catalog. Anatomy, Physiology, and Pathology Review using CT, Body, and Anatomy, Physiology, and Pathology Review using CT, Central Nervous System, and Musculoskeletal. The full course for Anatomy, Physiology, and Pathology Review using MRI Brain can be found on the Phillips Learning Center under the course category Anatomy and Physiology.